My people, it's TAC. Today we're going to take a look at the Cold Steel Boar Spear. Technical specs. Overall length, 82 and 8 inches long. The blade length is 18 and a half inch. Pretty decent size. I think that's the whole head they're counting. The weight on this is four and a quarter pounds. Give you a couple close-ups of this. The handle is made of ash. It's pretty big around too. I was surprised. Now I guess this really isn't a throwing spear. It's a boar spear. It's meant for just thrusting and stabbing. And I guess that's why they got this, just in case if you do throw it, it doesn't go flying through the animal. Now the retail on this is about 125 bucks. Usually you can find it for around 75. One thing I don't really like about it is that. It's just one piece of stamped. I don't know, I think it'd look a lot cooler if it looked the same on both sides, but whatever. Uh, the steel is SK5, high carbon steel. Comes with a secure X sheath, bunch of slits and eyelets, bunch of little warnings where to grab it, where not to. Goes in like so. Doesn't really, well, it almost kind of snaps in. Then you got a diagonal snap here. Which holds it in good. See if it's got any rattle. Nope, no rattle. I don't know if you guys can hear that. Starting to sleep. Yay! Now this also comes with two screws. There's your screw holes, so you can affix it to the shaft. But we're gonna check out the initial sharpness. See how this is. Now cold steels are kind of hit and miss when it comes to their sharpness. I know it's mostly a thrusting weapon. Oh, that was kind of good. But I think you can cut with this as well. This side doesn't seem as sharp as the other side, but that's nothing you can't fix yourself. And we'll see how this thing stabs in this down tree. We won't really thrust it in super hard, but enough, you know. Wow, that actually went in pretty damn good. I've seen videos of them bending this, you know, to like freaking 45 degree angle, but I'm not doing that. I just bought the damn thing. And 75 bucks isn't, you know, that ain't, that's kind of substantial, but it sticks in well. Like I said earlier, this isn't really meant for throwing, but we're going to do it anyways. Got that dead stump down there. Like I said, I didn't affix it yet still. I'm seeing if it's going to jam in, because that happens a lot. Let's give it a shot. We're about, we're close, 15 feet. Let's do it. There's a zombie. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, sank in pretty nicely. Oh, crap. Nice. Yeah, just like I thought, you throw this a couple times, it's gonna get stuck on there. But at least you have these, you could probably pound this off. Not too bad, let's try it again. Zombie! Oh yeah, it's heavy. The shaft is so thick and stuff, it gives it a lot of mass when you throw it. Little close up of the penetration. Yeah, it went in like inch two, maybe. I will try this again. Different angle, I'll step back. I'll go a little bit farther. Okay, here we go. Man, that thing hits hard. I'll get this thing. This would definitely take out a friggin' boar. Oh my god. Since it's rotten, it really sinks in there. One more, just for fun. I like this thing. Spears are a badass weapon and a good hunting tool as well. Now I'm gonna try a long throw. I don't even know if I can reach from here. I don't know, you can see that stump down there. I just paced that out. It's just a hair over 30 feet, so 10 yards. This thing's pretty heavy, man. I don't even know if I could throw this thing that far, but we're gonna try it. And this will be cool because there's still a lot of little branches and brush because if you were hunting with it and you did have to throw it it's not always going to be the ideal shot you might have to and it might deflect or whatever but let's give it a shot let's see if i can even reach it oh my god okay nope <laughs> man i was only like two feet short too damn let's try that again 
Okay, got her out. Now, I actually did hit the very, very base of it. It didn't seem like it until I got up there. That's a long freaking throw, though. We'll try it again. I want to get do a better hit, though. At least the aim was good. You know, it was on par. It just wasn't hard enough. That was even worse. What the fuck? Okay, let's try that again. That was terrible, man. That was like five feet short. What the hell what happened to my muscles? I don't know. Let's try it again. Man, I don't know if I should try to do that step. I'm not like super proficient at throwing spears. I can do it, but this thing's just freaking heavy. We'll try to do that step again. Jumping, Joseph. This ain't easy. Okay, I guess I'm way too puny to throw this big heavy thing 30 feet. Damn it. Yep. So I might as well get up to about 20 feet and we'll try that. So right about, right about here. So that was 30, yeah, it's about 20. Let's try this. Oh shit, I just hit a rock with it. Son of a bitch. I seen the spark from here. Well, I guess I messed this one up, guys. Bad news, I definitely hit a rock. I definitely hit a rock, damn. Look at that, I really effed this up. Yeah, flattened the point right out. And bent the damn thing right over. Oh, I hate it when I mess shit up. I just bought this thing too. 75 bucks, I already freaking screwed it up. Damn it, the things I do for YouTube. Oh well, hell I guess I won't be throwing it anymore. That's pretty much the end of that. It was doing good too. I mean, it was flexing and everything, but against a rock, of course, it's not gonna win. And I seen the spark from 20 feet away. Ting, I was like, oh shit. I didn't think it was gonna be that bad. <sighs> but we'll try to fix the tip. Didn't sharpen her up. Well, so, might as well come to the conclusion, right? Would I recommend this? I would. It's cool, it's fun. I like this. It's just, don't hit stupid rocks like my dumb ass. And, it wasn't sharp enough. It definitely has to be sharper. So just put a little edge on this and don't hit rocks and you'll be awesome. It'll be great. I do love this and I would recommend it. I don't, I'm not going to really rate it because, man, I haven't really had a bunch of spears. So ah, it seems pretty cool and I like it. It is expensive, though. That's the only bad thing. But it took abuse. It went into the ground a couple times because I suck. Uh, the handle's cool. And everything was fine until I hit that darn rock, but there you go. Well, as always, <laughs> appreciate you guys stopping by, and until the next time we meet. Damn.